Hello, I'm Betty Butterfield. Join me now as we explore the Presbyterian Church. Before I went to Presbyterian Church, I looked it up in the encyclopedia because I didn't know what that was. And it says it was having to do with elders and elderly. Ain't that the truth? I visited a Presbyterian Church last week. I swear to God, the average age in there was 95. It looked like the audience at the Lawrence Welk Show. I hadn't saw so many hearing aids in one room since I was a judge at the Special Olympics. It says here Presbyterians was started by John Calvin and was a reaction to the Anabaptists. And basically they have two forms now. They have the one that hates homosexuals, the ones that says they're okay. And that's the truth with all the churches. Them queens are tearing them all apart. First thing I noticed going in there is churches real quiet. Shh. Even people that had kids with them, if they was making any kind of noise, they'd pinch them real hard. They'd just pinch them. I had an off-the-record conversation with this old Presbyterian woman in coffee hour. She said, this church is drawed up and dying. I said, well, it's no wonder y'all don't have nothing going on down here. She said, we've been doing the same thing since 1736. I said, y'all have got to update the program. These children today have too many options. There is too many things to do on a Sunday morning besides come down here and sit with old people and listen to all this. I will give the Presbyterians this. They had a very nice program for the women. You talk about casseroles. You can't sneeze in that church without about six old women bring over casseroles. Never mind that every one of them is green beans and onions. Oh my God. I'm so over it. I noticed on the way out of the Presbyterian Church, everybody stopped and thanked the pastor. Oh, what a wonderful service. That was real nice and all this. I'm not like that. I have to speak from truth. I told the pastor, I said, I don't understand a word you said. I didn't get nothing out of it. I couldn't, I couldn't quote you if you hand me a $50 bill. I don't know what you was talking about. And he just smiled and said, thank you. And on to the next lady. I felt like I was in a celebrity Greek life. <laughs> there was no talking in tongues. <laughs> I'd say overall, I give Presbyterians about a five. It's not what I'm looking for. Lord, please find me a church. <laughs>